little cloudy, a little rainy out there today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got a lot of rain where I live. That pretty much sums it up. Downpours, <laughs> yeah, and some flash flood warnings even uh, issued for parts of Baldwin County. It, right, in parts of Baldwin, Cla Baldwin County, especially, <laughs> a especially along 98. It's been a long day. Yeah. Uh, especially along 98, we've had two to three inches of rain really from running about uh, Spanish Fort southward to Point Clear and stretching up 31 and 59 around Stapleton and ended around again Spanish Fort. But some of the heaviest rain actually has been falling across parts of Conecuh County, which we'll show you that in just a few minutes. Here's where some of the rain, the heaviest rain is moving now, where you see those dark red colors pushing into Crestview, western Okaloosa County, also through Santa Rosa County. So that's where the batch of heaviest rain is, although we're going to still see some light to moderate rain even back towards the west. Now we're watching this here. It's another line of storms. It really doesn't look like much, and we don't really expect it to uh, really amount to a lot as it moves through. But this is the cold front. Uh, once this pushes through the rain will be over with and we're going to see the winds kick up out of the north and bring some cooler weather to the region now these rainfall totals anywhere from about four to six inches here across uh, portions of eastern Connecticut County eastern Escambia County this is where some of the heaviest rainfall has been here throughout the day and again uh, basically a long 59 down towards a uh, 31 and heading down 98 and really west of 59 in Baldwin County is where we've seen rainfall totals anywhere from about two to four inches. So again, the rain will continue pushing east. We're gonna have this last batch come through Mobile, I'd say in the next couple of hours. And then the rest of tonight's just gonna be much cooler across the area. Gulf Shores Beach Cam showing not much in the way of preparations today for the Hangout Music Festival. They've pretty much gotten a lot of that done. Looks like the stage is uh, up and they had to run inside from time to time due to some of those showers and storms that did uh, develop across the area. Currently 70 in Mobile with rain cooled air, 67 Gulf Shore, same thing, Milton and in Pensacola. Here's forecast through tonight. Skies mostly cloudy. Chance for rain will continue. I think we'll clear out overnight tonight and sunshine returns to the forecast for tomorrow. You're definitely going to notice also the humidity a lot lower, especially the next few days. So once we get the rain out of here, cooler for tomorrow, sunshine, and this is your forecast here for the Hangout Music Fest beginning tomorrow and continuing through the weekend. 75, early chance for a shower. More than likely, you're not going to see any rain at all because I think by the time you get up set, uh, tomorrow, most of the rain will be gone. 79 for Friday, 82 Saturday, 80 83 coming up on Sunday. Fantastic weekend shaping up. So here's the way things look on your uh, RPM model. You can see the last bit of the rain exiting the area by midnight. A few clouds in the morning and northwest wind at about 10 to 20. It's going to be a little breezy tomorrow and temperatures are going to struggle to get in the low to mid 70s. Tomorrow night, we're going to drop into the 40s across parts of the area and we're talking well down in the 40s in parts of the region. And then by Friday afternoon, we're looking at highs near 80 degrees. And next week, possibly some of the warmest weather we've seen all season, some areas getting close to or above 90 degrees for the first time this year. Here's your beach forecast tomorrow. Rip current risk stays a little bit high. Should get better over the next few days. Northwest winds will be out of the uh, out of the northwest again about 10 to 20 with some higher gusts possible. Here's your seven-day forecast. Again, it looks good here all the way through the weekend. 47 for Friday morning, but very nice afternoon. Friday, low humidity, 83, 85 Saturday and Sunday, and possibly getting into the 90s or at least close to it by the middle of next week. Oh as goodness. far as this rain is concerned, we're past the worst of it, right? That's the way it looks at this point. Right. We still have a flash flood threat, though, northwest mm -hmm. Florida. We'll be watching it. All right, Derek, thanks so mm -hmm. much.